So if you really go the whole way and see how you feel at the prospect of vanishing forever, of all your efforts and all your achievements and your, all your attainments turning into dust and nothingness, what is the feeling? What happens to you? It's a curious thing. The most real state is the state of nothing. That's what it's going to all come to. And for some reason or other, we're supposed to find this depressing. But if somebody is going to argue that the basic reality is nothingness, where does all this come from? Obviously from nothingness. So cheer up, you see. This is what is meant in Buddhist philosophy by saying we are all basically nothing. The essence of your mind, that's how it is behind your eyes, is intrinsically pure. The pure doesn't mean a non-dirty story state of mind, as it is apt to mean in the word purity. Pure means clear, void. So you know the story when the sixth patriarch was given his office as successor because he was truly enlightened, there was a poetry contest. And the losing one wrote the idea that the mind, the consciousness, was like a mirror which had to be polished. And constantly one, I have to polish my mirror, I have to purify my mind, see? So that I'm detached and calm and clear-headed, you know, Buddha. <laughs> but the one who won the contest said, there is no mirror. And the nature of the mind is intrinsically void. So where is there anywhere for dust to collect? By seeing that nothingness is the fundamental reality, and you see it's your reality, then how can anything contaminate you? The wins. Yeah. I started at the beginning. I threw like ten balls and didn't get one in. I think this is a bit different than that one. And yeah, I, another one. This is so much fun. Okay.